Okay, there's a couple ways to crop video. First, I'm going to show you how to crop one video inside another. Before we get started, you need to right click on your V1 track and select add video track so that you have two video tracks. Then drag the video you like to use as a background onto the V1 track on the timeline. And drag the video you like to crop above it onto the V2 track. Now make sure your top clip is selected on the timeline and go over to filters. Click the plus button in the filters panel to add a new filter. Type crop into the search box and select either crop rectangle or crop circle depending on the shape you want to crop with. Then simply drag the corner handles to crop the part of the video you want. And you can drag the circle in the middle to reposition your cropped out rectangle over the part of the video you want. Once you're satisfied with your crop, just click the color box next to padding color. Change the alpha channel to zero and hit OK to get rid of the black background so we can see our other clip underneath it. Finally, if you want to reposition where your crop video is in the frame, you'll want to click the plus button to add another filter. Type size in the search box, and then select the size and position filter. Now simply drag the circle in the middle of the preview to reposition your crop video in the frame. You can also drag the corner handles to resize your video if you want. Alright, and there we have our crop video overlaid on our other one. Now let's undo all of this so I can demonstrate how to crop this single video clip and then export my crop video without any black borders. To do this, let's begin by going up to Settings, Video Mode, Custom, Add. Change the resolution and aspect ratio to the frame size you want your video cropped to. I'm going to set both of mine to 500 by 500 for a square aspect ratio. Alright, now my frame size is correct, but my video kept its wide aspect ratio rather than being cropped into the frame. To fix this, make sure your video clip is selected on the timeline and go up to filters. Click the plus button to add a new filter to your video. Type crop into the search box and select the crop source filter. Now simply drag the top, bottom, left and right sliders to get the crop you want. You can also just click the center button to crop your video in the center of the frame, and then adjust the center bias to crop the video how you'd like. Finally, to save our video, let's go up to export. In the export panel, click the advanced button, then make sure your resolution and aspect ratio are set to the custom frame size you set earlier. Now just click export file. And I'll just give it a name and save it. Alright, and now I can play this back in my media player, and my video will be cropped in the right resolution. And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.